The purpose of this short video is to give you some tips for navigating the Enhanced Interactive Glossary. Let's start with the simple process of finding a key term in the glossary. Pick the first letter of the word you're interested in looking up and click on the letters of the alphabet. Say we're looking for marginalization. You then click on the word marginalization and you're taken directly to that part of the glossary. You can use this back to top of glossary link to go back to the alphabet. If you're looking at the concept of marginalization, you might also be interested in contrasting that with the concept of privilege. So you would click on the P, find the word privilege in the list, and you're taken directly to the concept of privilege and the definition. We'll go back to the top of the glossary, and let's look at another way in which the glossary can be used in a little bit more interactive way. Let's go back to the term marginalization. You'll notice that, as in the rest of the book, there are other concepts linked from the concept of marginalization. So, for example, you could have gone to the concept of privilege directly by clicking on the word privilege in this definition. You can then use the back button to go back to where you were in your exploration of the concept of marginalization. You can continue to do this throughout the glossary following the links that most interest you. So for example, you could go to the social determinants of health. And as you read along that definition, you might decide that you want to explore social injustices and inequities and click on that definition. Or look at the concept of social location and how that's related. Whenever you're finished doing your exploration of the glossary, you can always go back to the top of the glossary and return to the concept that you were originally working with, in this case, marginalization. The glossary is also a rich source of connection to the professional literature. You'll notice that each of the key concepts is carefully tied to the current Canadian and international professional writing in the area. So for example, in the concept of marginalization, you may want to follow up and see what Perret and Sutherland 2016 have to say. The easiest way to do this is to go back to the top of the glossary, click on the references, click on P, and find Perret and Sutherland. At this point, you may want to use your arrow to go back to the top of the references and back to the top of the glossary. The Enhanced Interactive Glossary also provides an easy way to follow a concept and its evolution throughout the ebook. In Chapter 2, with the expanded culturally responsive and socially just counselling model, the key concepts were organised under the core competencies and domains in the model. This is great if you're looking at a particular domain and want to see all of the key concepts and learning outcomes associated with that domain. However, if you want a quicker way to find a particular concept, use the glossary. So let's go back to Privilege and click on P, find our word Privilege again, and from this definition of privilege, we can easily find the spot in Chapter 2 where the concept of privilege is expanded. Here we are, and if you scroll up, you can see we're in Core Competency 5, and we're looking at the concept of privilege. From this position, you can then navigate through the ebook and explore the way in which privilege is described in the conceptual chapter where I address privilege and marginalization. Use your back button again, go back to chapter two, and then you can look at the ways in which various people have addressed privilege. So Christelle Odette, for example, talks about personal positioning within power and privilege in her chapter. Or you can look at Karen Cook's chapter, and you'll see the area in which she talks about the concept of privilege. You can easily go back to the glossary by clicking on the key concept of privilege. 